I will say, I don't think many people predicted Hoborg being the third place threat. That you're thinking out your socks, your goodies, yeah. your Aiden Calvins. Somewhere your along McLeod's. the line. Somewhere along the line, people thought that Hoborg would be slain. But to his credit, he trucked through all of them. He beat your McLeod, he beat your Goody, he beat your Sock, uh, and some other threats as well. And so, what a hard earned third place finish, losing to RNG and Josh Man. For the Waff Man. Two different gamers. <laughs> <laughs> different from the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. But here it is. We got we got fresh water on deck. Jumpy. Skurzo is funny because he takes the game seriously. I played him in my pool. Yeah. I was my I was fifth seed in my pool. Mm -hmm. I upset my fourth seed, so I got fourth. Nice. Love that for so you. So go me. Love that. I didn't get in the top 48 because it was top three out. Anyway, I play Skurzo, and he sits on the setup that we play on. He warms up on the setup. He does a hand warmer. He sees how it feels. He strikes, and it was... It, and, you know, there is no world, <laughs> there is no world where my Falcon touches Skurzo. Mm -hmm. And he still treated me like it was, uh, that could happen. And I thought that was really interesting because, like, staying in the mindset of, like, nobody is above, uh, you know, being a threat to me. Yeah. And that's, I was like, oh, this guy's a good player. Like, this is, this yeah. is a good mentality for a player. Something that, like, helped Josh come up in Sydney was that, even though he was head and shoulders like the best player in the room, he could always learn from playing anyone. Like if he's like four stocking a guy, like he's not just like clocking in. He's like, why am I getting hit one time? One time. You know? Like yeah. why am I getting hit one why time? Why am I not JB fiving this guy? Yeah, like this. There's, there's always something to be taken from it, and it feels like Skurzo kind of is coming in with that same mentality. Real quick. Uh, oh my God, Josh is going the, the Sheem. Um, real quick, uh, Nico from Queensland actually pointed something out and said that Skurzo looks like the first evil ex from Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I could see it. It's he, like, he doesn't have evil ex energy in his heart. He doesn't though. have evil ex energy. He seems like kind of a sweetheart. It is interesting that... Um, what was I going to say about Skurzo? Sometimes you say something like a little lead-in and you're like, I'll remember what I was about to say during that time, and yeah. then you don't. You don't. It's just gone. Then it's gone forever. But this will be interesting. I think this matchup has been a lot of Sheik's Banes for quite a long time. Yep. And But with Josh being as cracked of a gamer as he is with such crazy reaction times and just the general game sense, I think he'll hope, like fall into a lot less pitfalls as maybe your Aiden Calvins, your Skip SSPs. You know, you <laughs> yeah, know. right. The, I also, the like, salt of the earth Sheik's. <laughs> <laughs> the hard work and blue collar. <laughs> holding their, their metal tools. So a thing about uh, Josh too is like he's a Fox man, right? Yeah. So he knows this matchup so inside and out. He's been playing a ton of Sheik. He plays against Kyle Crudo, with Kyle Crudo a lot, um, who many think right now is just the best Sheik there oh, is, yeah, besides J Mook. Insane. So uh, I'm really interested to see how he approaches this matchup. Yeah, the low percent is going to be the really interesting one. Yep. Yeah, for those not aware, this is always puts an easy perspective for me. Is 24% is when the F tilt knocks the fox into the air, and so it's it's kind of this percent that changes the way you approach fox. There's a before 24% and after. Yeah, and there's also weird things interactions with fox's weak nair Ooh. specifically, where you can't crouch cancel the weak nair at like zero. I think you got to like ASDI down, mm. and then there's like a weird like. 12 to something percent range where you can crouch cancel it and then like after that again it becomes ASDI down it's like weak net gets so much mileage in this matchup when it feels like it really shouldn't yeah that is interesting it it's very much like a uh, on both sides like um like a boss fight with phases <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah there's so many different ranges that you got to watch out for all right josh being a uh, being dutiful with his he's not just throwing out crazy aerials He's, he's just he's respecting Skurzo's ability to react to him coming down while Skurzo's on the ground. Because it's death if, if it's an up till. It's just going to hurt really bad. Yeah. Yeah. This is boost grab. Or dash tag. Sorry. Skurzo's shortens when recovering, and his like, slide offs are making it so hard to get like mileage off all the things that Sheik really wants mileage off. Your kind of flow chart edge guards, your you know, up tilt on the platform. Skurzo's just turning it around, and Josh has to work so much harder for each dog. Especially on this uh, this stage too, yeah. I feel like it's a it's an, a goofy one, a goofy ah one to yeah. strike to, but you kind of got to get it out of the way. Yeah, I think it's pr it's pretty neutral. I think. Like, you think so? Like I think Sheik's a, a kind of happy going here. Okay. 
Look, I can't speak for the foxes. Maybe they're pissed. Maybe they're eh, like... The foxes are always pissed. You they... know what? Sheep's are always pissed. Everyone's always damn pissed. You know who's not pissed? Roy mains. <laughs> Roy mains are just happy to be hanging out. They're... Roy mains are happy to be invited to the party. <laughs> Scherzo misses a ledge dash, gifting it to Josh Van. That is huge. Probably Sheik's most effective kill there. I saw Jordy play uh, Roy against some poor soul oh, on, no. on stream the other day. Oh, no, man. I was like, you know what? Good on you. <laughs> he used to play keyboard keyboard Roy, you know that? Oh, he had like the, um, I need a airplane the Fantasy Star there. Online keyboard controller. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he would just play, oh, oh my no, god. Oh, no, two SDs from Skurzo. Josh didn't have nothing to do anything. Cool. We take that. <laughs> Because you know what, the uh, the fates could swing the other way just as easily. Just as easily. It's also Josh isn't loser, so like let's let's cutscene skip to the the reset. To the good part. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on in Ultimate? Oh my god, we got Wario, Young Link. Jesus. You guys still got Daddy Ganny? What? Is Daddy Ganny was a guy who played Ganon who wore a diaper. I heard about him from BAM in 2018. That's awesome. Um, Ultimate player. Not that I've heard of. Okay. I have not heard of Daddy Ganny. Rip Danny, Daddy Ganny. Maybe we hardly around, knew ye. You know. Maybe COVID got him. If you're listening, phone in. <laughs> yeah, phone into the phone into the show. All right, look away for a couple seconds and it's 86% on, on Discurso. He might die here. Oh. <laughs> Let's the dash attack rip. It's just over. Is this? I I don't know how to feel about this. The fox getting blown up and the sheik just doing really well. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I think it goes to show how much time he's been putting in. Yeah. And maybe he's just Josh will go through these phases too. He uh he had a box peach phase. Oh, he absolutely did. He said, uh, well, he had it w before when he lived here and he was just stuck inside. He had it a, a couple, second phase a couple months ago. It's all he talked about. He's just like, dude, my box peach is getting so oh, good. It's all man. I can think about. And Josh is, I think, a guy characterized by phases of things that are the only thing he can think about at the moment. Yeah, don't even get me started on the Junior Jario, man. It's <laughs> Junior Jario? Yeah, because the, the doctor, you guys replace it with a J, and so it's, it becomes a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, uh, one of the things he used to do when we he lived at my house was beat my Jigglypuff, win a prize. He would just come in and say it four times, like I was pressing A and he wasn't changing his dialogue option. And I'm like, okay. And it took me 20 tries to beat his Jigglypuff, and I've yet to get my wow. prize. Nice edge guard that was, for Josh Man here. That was so clean, and uh, I'll have a word with him about your uh -oh. prize. Uh-oh! <laughs> it was a bait! Uh-oh, for Skurzo. Oh my god, imagine he died off that. Definitely not a bait. Josh has done that accidentally in the last uh, one of the sets before as well. Yeah. So sometimes you just gotta let it hang. That's what I'm oh, crouch cancel hurts. Ooh, nice, nice patience by Skirza. Yeah, There's nothing more juicy in this world than a Sheik F tilting your shield. Oh, you're just like yes. Like I'll, I'll take everything. Because you know that if you weren't shielding, it's oh. <laughs> dash attack, you're dash attack. Poking pair of shoes. <laughs> nice. Doesn't dash attack actually pops for the forward tilt? Uh, goes for the, the jab there. It's, it is the easy option. It's the fastest thing she can do, and so like you can react with attack in place, and you know, but Fox can just kind of crouch cancel, and you're you're not happy at that point. Big back air, big man in the building. Oh yeah. Josh playing clean. He also he got most of that sequence by calling out Skurzo just full hopping with a, a juicy back air to the face. So. Oh what? And a, another call out with the up air there. Skurzo might be a little jump happy right now. He's under Pokemon Stadium. He gets back. It looks like he curved the bullet. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like just repeated weak back airs is the play there, but he went for all, it all with the reverse fair. Gotta be careful because Skurzo okay. can, can take this soul back really oh, fast. All up tilt. You gotta think a miss. <laughs> <laughs> Jabo hits that one, I'll say it. <laughs> okay, gets the grab there. It's looking good. He's at a juicy percent. Oh, a bit of an extension. Nice job. All right. Nice one. All right, Josh, man. Just some good, clean fun. What is this? He's just, it, it, it was looking a little lost yeah. against the Jeek. I don't know. I mean, the Fox Ditto, it's just, you know, one hit, you blow them up. You don't really got to think too much, you know? The Sheik. Maybe you're saying something about Foxes in general. The Sheik's got tricks. Ooh, we're going to a counter pick. It's Oh, it's Arth. going, we're going final D. 
<laughs> Josh has so many stupid fucking characters, man. So yeah, Josh, uh, obviously a counter pick. He's able to play Marth against Fox. Oh no. Scurzo having to beat three characters to take down Josh Band if he, if he does. And this also doesn't look good for a game three. This might just be the fastest reset oh we've ever God. damn seen. He's invoked the right to a second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's sent in his boy. <laughs> Right. I wonder what Scurzo's second best character is. Chicago <laughs> head sound off in the chat that I do not have in front of me. I feel like every Fox has a Sheik. You think the same jump squat? Yeah, same jump squat. It's like, and they've all been like, you know. They're a little Sheik curious. They've been a little bothered by Sheiks throughout the years. They're like, ah, oh, they can't be that hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I could probably tech chase, I bet. I bet. <laughs> oh my. Grab. Okay. okay. What, what made you as a Luigi, as a man, what made... Why were you, what made you want to play Sheik? I was always Sheik curious. I think uh, they were kind of the two that I was drawn to originally when I first started playing. Okay. Stuck with the Weege because he was the most kind of fun and intuitive. Yeah. You know, it's really easy to see when you've done a wave dash correctly. Yeah, right, right. And then... Uh, <laughs> SA Nick chant coming out. Oh, Ooh, so crazy awesome. tech. That is the last thing Nick needed. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, there's a sound to match Sheik. A lot of the old heads, the, who are now old heads in Australian Melee, talk about the first time that Josh kind of surpassed They Say Nick, and they said, this is it. Yeah. This is, he's finally beaten the, the, the boss of this this place. Yeah, it's it's insane, because generally someone will rule the land with an iron fist. Yeah. We and, had, it, we and it became one goofy, goofy bearded boy. <laughs> so you think, yeah, man, I have a beard back then. Yeah, it's like, who, who's going to dethrone this guy? <laughs> Is it going to be Scurzo? So there's a little couple choppy uh, ledge dashes as well. I mean, it just... Oh, no. A bit of a misfire on the twa. Okay. There's the dash I grab. This is definitely not free. And Josh playing a little apprehensive yeah, here. He took is, uh, so much damage from lasers. This is where the, the Marple Tunnel Syndrome kicks in, you know? There's also a beautiful uh, side B by Scurzo. So low. He's so good at the side Bs. Oh my god. Gets the back out there, bullying Moth in the corner. And now Scurzo with the lead. 155, but what does it all mean? You know, like, whether <laughs> <laughs> these hits aren't going to do anything. He's got 100 more chances. Nice tech. What a crazy, crazy man. <gasps> Careful! Oh lord, 187 on a Josh man. What is it all for, you know? Like, <laughs> what do we fight for? But you know what? It's FD. He's got a couple more tries. <laughs> We're back to the Sheik. Uh, he's got to win one of the next two. I mean, he could just run it back, right? He's staying. Okay, he's going Sheik. Okay. Yeah, he's going Sheik. Battlefield. It is like, it's crazy that Battlefield is kind of like the the neutral stage, but like it's just Sheik's strongest counter pick. Everyone says that. Yeah. What makes it her strongest counter pick? Just like the way that the platforms are configured. Are just like really strong for just her controlling space and like she just wants to use platforms a lot especially in matchups like this like you don't want to be playing the ground game against fox right and uh you know not having walls for opponents to ride is really nice as well right okay just kind of a lot of nice stuff going going on it's Ooh. not crazy polarizing but she likes it Ooh, scores are kind of cooking that was crazy too i thought josh got the back air but they actually traded places huge fair that though is an insane fair Oh, Moonwalk? Okay. Scurs was sauced on oh. me. I'm not even going to lie about it. It's Such good to see him <laughs> saucing in a, in a spot where he could lose. Yeah, you're like me watching the Luigi <laughs> <laughs> yeah. lose to everyone else. Oh, he <gasps> gets... Oh, weird. He's got to pay me royalties on those needles, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't work out, so I can't be too mad. Got to watch out for those full hop drills, too. It's just a weird spot for all parties involved. Woo! Chad waiting for the spot dodge there, but Scurzo's back. Oh no, Scurzo's not back. Wow! Oh, what a burn. Crazy angle. It looked like he actually went through the side of the stage a little bit. Doesn't up air. I think you can safely up air that one. Yeah, maybe he thought about an edge cancel and tried to back off. That's a really hard fair to get. No one's ever gone that low since Korean DJ. That is so crazy! Does down smash hit that maybe? Uh, maybe. It's like really hard to tell because he's in like the magnifying glass. Sure. But you could just like either like miss and then get punished from the ledge. So 
Finally, Josh getting the stock off of a clear Skurzo miss input, right? A slow getup is like, yeah. you know, that's how it, it happened, which doesn't look good for Josh, to be honest. He's still looking all right. It's just a couple spots where, like, Sheik really needs to make her, her big money. Yeah, I feel missing. like the edge guards just haven't been there, especially when Skurzo yeah. ends up under the stage. He's like, oh. Yeah. Which I touted it as an advantage for Sheik, but it's not looking that way. Oh. Okay. Careful! Oh. A bad refresh, and that's a yeah. whole ass stock. Such a like a crazy sequence of events to get Josh to move a certain way, but it ended up in a really awkward ledge situation for Skurzo. Oh, that was a grab too. He missed yep. his dash back. Yep. Another grab. Oh, Skurzo is looking so grabbable right now. He is. He's just <laughs> looking like a little like a doll on the ground. Oh, it gets out. Oh, there we go. Gets it there in the least likely of spots. Up smash? No, just gets another grab. It's still going. What else? What else, Josh Man? Oh. Gives a little cute move. Oh, Ooh, no. careful! He's going straight up. He lives here. Oh, gets Crazy it. Crazy there. Oh! Wow! I can't believe he gets the momentum there. We're going to a reset. That was off the backboard. <laughs> I couldn't believe he got all the way. He just got the fucking so high. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one image. Whew. You got, you got the boy in the back just doing this one. <laughs> 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 All right, that's a reset. My God. Grand, grand finals, final finals. Are we going to see more of the same? Are we seeing more Sheik Fox? I reckon so. Back to Battlefield as a starter stage. Interesting. Interesting. They started FOD last time, I believe. Yep. Oh, misses the ground. Gets it anyway. Okay. Two. Josh's reaction times, I will say, also very, very good. It's... We oh. do the reaction tester at home sometimes. He's, it's like, damn, how'd you do that? Yeah, I'm more of a, a chimp test guy myself. <laughs> yeah, the, the memorization one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad at that too. Actually, I'm good at reactions. I'm not good at being a chimp. Uh, Except when I go, <laughs> I got a crazy picture of a monkey to show you later. Yeah, you're, <laughs> not, you're, not gonna you're not going to believe it. <laughs> I love monkeys so much, man. <laughs> They're so awesome. Oh, hey, careful. Oh, yeah. Wow. Skozo made himself look so hittable there. And Josh just bit, he went Yeah, and took then, the bait. And then, yeah. Nair's out of trouble. The, the side Bs are getting him so much. So many second, third, fourth leases on life. That's a, a That was a hit there, I think, off that, that DI. Weird looking. A little greedy from Skurzo. I think you want to get away in that spot, but yeah, whatever. It, it was, it was kind of checkmate, because if you DI off, she can run off fair, and you can't tech anything. Uh. But if you DI in, then she can do like a tilt or a down smash and you can maybe try to trick him. But Josh just didn't do the, the hit. Skurzo using the gun. I feel like he's changed up his, uh, his strategy a little bit from the last game. Yeah. Opting more to stay under the platform, stay in his little house. It is always interesting when Foxes realize that they have a gun. They have the gun. It was there the whole time. <laughs> it's when they lose to like a, you know, a lower lower-ish caliber character and they're like all right like you know what enough of this yeah let me use all parts of the animal here what a crazy call out from skurzo wow that was beautiful up there staying in the corner staying in shield misses on the needle just slightly misspaced i Catch. wonder if he got the turnaround on the up tilt. he would have hit josh there mm, interesting really close boom up and oh okay mixed oh, it the top caught the di in Josh man got to rack up this early percent somehow. Yeah. And the oh. gun comes out. It comes out at the early, early oh. stage of the stock. He's only really going for needles and grab as he's opening, which you kind of got to do. That part's juicy, though. Here we go. Great DI to ledge. Forward smash is such an interesting little move there. Yeah. OK. Oh. Gets burned. Oh, and there it is. All Finally right. a good refresh. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't get his head bonked this time. Gets out of the drill, grab the ledge. Oh, another let me, chance. Let me just say, Aiden Calvin gets this without taking damage. Yeah. Oh, so Nice fast. job. Yeah. I do wish he'd have grabbed the ledge instead of going straight down there, but. Whew. I will say, Skurzo is playing much more measured in this set uh, than the last one. He's getting a lot more openings. He's being more clean. He's playing back more. It's a more balanced game plan. Yeah. And it's definitely working. He's taking it to Josh. OK, magic percent. Careful, oh, bad that's trade. Everything he's gonna land on. Nah, wow. yeah. Okay. He knew. He knew he had to play the ledge mix up, but just a really weird angle to approach from. 
Skoz are cleaning it up. Wow. Skoz are open game. Staying Sheik, going FOD. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Skurza didn't take a Sheik game at all last set. He only uh, beat the Mark. Yeah. So, so it's already a good Already adjustment. doing better, yeah. yeah. And, you know, if we go to FD again, who knows what we're going to see. Luigi dittos. Oh, man. Uh oh, crazy. Crazy crowd chance of Wow. Shine. And that's just recognizing the greed of one Josh man, you know, coming down with an aerial yeah. near the ledge. Like, wrap it up. None of us are without sin, you know? <laughs> Every character does it. Nice yep. fair. Oh my god. Jeez, that's so what good. What a genius. Dude, he got such a counter off that too. He got like 40%. Yeah. And that's such a huge percent against Sheik. He's ping pong her around now. Good reverse fair. Nice job. Oh no. Josh looking down at his controller. You hate to see it. Yep, okay. <laughs> the biggest breath I've ever seen him take. Yeah, miss, miss inputs of Sheik are so brutal. Yeah, he sunk like a stone. <laughs> Up smash, yep. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh my god, he didn't know. Oh he didn't my know he got hit by the damn needle. <laughs> he didn't know. The secret agent needle coming out. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that was the cyanide capsule that he accidentally <laughs> bit down on. He was like, ah. <laughs> okay, getting a crouch cancel grab. Huge. Getting Dammy. Yeah, I see what you mean by these platforms being great for Sheik, especially at that that height. It's just like they, oh my they land there, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet, but the side B into a combo. Oh, it's so greedy again with the fair there. Skozo making himself look hittable, but getting out of it at the last possible moment. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Definitely thought, I think he was trying to do a short up fair there, but does an F smash instead. Yeah. Careful. Gets it. All right. Nice. Josh had a juicy percent for Fox here. He's got to make it all happen. Here's the first grab. Everything. Oh, goes for a read. You're just praying at that point. You're so happy to spot dodge okay. a lot here. He's kind of can up air. What are you doing? What the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, oh no, Josh no. is on stage. He comes out with a greedy there. there. What is that there? Oh, he wins the mix up. Huge oh, Josh. huge there. Oh! Ah! What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, oh my, god. my heart. And a huge pop off from Josh, man. What, oh. a, what a psycho. How did he clean that up? There were like nine times during that whole last interaction where it's like, oh, he's dead. No, he's dead. Yeah. No, he's dead. No, he's dead. Holy sh that That. Combo at the start of the stock. I don't know what was going on. Woo. Jab into up tilt into all sorts, and that's huge momentum for Josh. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It felt locked up in a lot of ways for Skurzo. You end up losing it. Now it's an even game, as Hbox would call it. Is now a best of three. Whoa, crazy down airs. Oh, gave him his jump back. Okay. Oh, Woo. he's cooking. No jump here. It's so. Good. What do you do? I don't know. Oh! The movement. He d might die for the movement. He does not. Skrzo oh. loving the side B on the stage. I think he's actually been a little side B happy. Yeah. And, and I think it can be exploited. Yeah. If Josh just starts waiting just a little bit. Because he has been going for like the raw call out fair exactly yeah. on the axis of your side B. Yeah. Um, which also isn't good, right? It's really strong to just follow the Fox's descent there and then double jump back if they do a side B, and then if they don't, you just grab ledge, rinse and repeat. Big grab from the start oh. of the stock again. Wild. Could have honestly caught a bad refresh there, but no such luck. Skurzo finally with some pressure. No grab. Those, man, those double jumps out of the corner too are kind of scary. I feel like he's just, he's more button pressy happy than he was in the beginning of this reset it's set, and I think that's not gonna work out for him. Mm. Does he get the kill here? No, lands on the platform. Gets it there. Finds it. Okay. Oh my God. Signs of life. Yep. Not that he was on life support, but <laughs> that stock could have ended a couple times for Skozo. So it's great news to him to stay in it. The roll away. A piggy? Josh man? <laughs> it's more likely than you think. <laughs> Even on the big stage. <laughs> on the big stage, we're all just piggies in the mud. <laughs> oh. Nice. Josh just can't get down. He's been in the air for so long. I know. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, waits it out. That, uh, now, 
Now we're oinking, boys. Oh, no. Scozo doesn't believe. I don't think there was a single aerial Josh could have thrown out to like bounce his head. Yeah. Uh, which was unfortunate. So he had to up B and he dies for it eventually. Yeah. Okay. Slash attack. Yeah, it works. Fair. Okay, again. Yeah, got it. Nice. That's that's the flow chart. That's all we want to see. I think Josh will need some antihistamines from Kalen because I think he's allergic to a strong back air. <laughs> it's my God. It's not for everyone. Let me say. <laughs> Some people like to dilute it down a little. A lot of neutral. So Skrizzle playing the platform sound. You see Josh Man just trying to sniff it out with that up tilt. Yeah. Very J Mook esque because he invented up tilt. Here we go. Yeah. And he hasn't, he hasn't been doing off stage throws. He's always been opting for the down throw and just believing in himself. Right. Well, reactions and reads too. There was that the FOD game where he went through a hard uh, up smash read, yeah. which missed. You know. Yeah. <sighs> no ledge. Oh, no jump here too. Gets out. Oh, crazy. Oh, wiggle out. The delayed back air, too. He actually gets out of dodge for it. If Skirzel was button pressing like he has, but he actually loses that interaction. There's <gasps> so much going on right now. An insane immediate drift back to avoid the shine, because that was instant death. Dash attack is kind of interesting. Oh, yeah. it just gets clipped. What a catch. Oh. I don't like kind of sending him back into the stage. Oh, he might be dead. Oh, yeah. so close. He just knows. Uh oh. Dash attack the up smash chases him all the way down to the alley. It just works. It's just good. We are once again on last stock in this last set. Oh my god. I think you can tech that at low percent. Oh, Skrzel's cooking. Oh no, no jump. 82. He does have a jump. I thought I saw him jump. <laughs> oh my, he had the right read. <gasps> what? Okay. Yep. The double jump back air He's is going to clear He's it dead. up. He's dead. Josh with the fist pump toward the gang. That's Josh, man. He's back. A tear scrolling down Goody's face somewhere in the, in the venue. He's back, yes! <laughs> it might not be Fox. It might not be what Goody wanted to see. <laughs> but the Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi chant coming out regardless. What does it mean? None of us know. But oh, my oh. God. Yeah, gets to live that one. Scarzo definitely not afraid to go for that uh, those, those quick blink and you'll miss it stocks. Oh yeah, especially at the beginning. We see those a lot at the beginning. Yeah, the, it's, it's kind of like starting like a Zangief start in, <laughs> in Street Fighter. The, the, the people that start before the go has disappeared. Yeah, yeah. They're on some some evil shit. Another call out on the back air by Josh, but he when whenever Scarzo does go for the ledge, it seems like Josh loses the interaction and Scarzo gets back, but not yeah. this time. Yeah, he did get back to the ledge. Josh went for a needle, but. Managed to clean it up anyway. Oh! <gasps> shine grab? He's trying. Oh. Whenever they shine grab, they're trying. Yeah. That's my theory. <laughs> I think that holds true. Oh, it gets out of it. No! Oh, oh, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> the, the, the gun misfired. <laughs> you had it pointed at your head, and it just was click. You pointed at your head, and it got like the little, like, ha ha, the bang, like the flag yeah. come out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Spamming back air. It's huge. Just so good at waiting for these spot dodges. Ooh. Wow. That's oh. how the, the move was intended to be used in 2001. <laughs> it's coming back. 2024, the year of the Florida. Oh, <laughs> the run up down air was really interesting. Almost caught him is the crazy part. He's That's high up. Yep. Yeah. All right. Scherzo. Scherzo with the lead, but he eats an F tilt straight out the gate, right okay. out the fed. Oh my, what a crazy choice. Dude, Josh copying 1% for that grab is so funny looking. <laughs> All right. Some via troubles. Huge lead for Josh right here. <laughs> oh, All right, that's now funny. for real. For real, uh, Scrims will put on some damage. Again, challenging him up there. Oh. A little risky to wave dash in F tilt on the 0% Fox, but I guess yeah. you gotta just get get your frames while you can. So many ways that can go wrong, but it works out for him. Oh, this is tough. Oof. Okay, just, there it is. There he Catches clean. him. It's all about the movement baits on the ledge between these two. Yeah, especially at those low percent. They're just like super uh, tentative, tentative neutral. Yeah. A little Shit. late. Wow. wow! Okay. 
Okay. He said, he said, you remember Slide Off? We still do that. That's insane. We still do that. So crazy by Josh, man. What a reversal. Oh my He's god, it grab. This could be it. Nothing. Forward smash. We're stomping the ground. It's an earthquake right now in, in, in Hoborg. <laughs> a Victoria, Australia. In Hoborg, Victoria. <laughs> oh no. Skirzo's cooking. He is cooking. He's playing a little more patient, too. Josh jumping around. He's got a terrible, terrible oh. percent here. Okay. <gasps> oh no. Just goes to the hangmaker. Josh, Josh is not confident enough to grab off of what was it? pretty much a lag arrow oh. on shield. He gets a grab on the spot dodge. No. Oh, trade. A lot of shield. Josh might be fine here. Yep, he kind of doesn't get to the ledge as fast. What a crazy back air. Yeah, that was like a, that was like approaching short up oh. back air. Oh my god, up air. We're going to game yeah, five. That's it. Game five. Game five. Woo. Oh my god. That's the KP Kaiser back air. I, yeah, that was like a running pivot. Fade in back air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. It's so wild. And he got power shielded. Wow. All right. This is it. It's game five reset grand finals, Phantom. My god. This is for USA versus <laughs> Japan. <laughs> this is for leadership of the country. <laughs> yeah. The, res the players on the screen, if you're listening on the radio, may shock you. <laughs> And we go to Yoshi's too. Definitely the Coliseum. Yeah, not many stages left. It's either like this or FD. Oh, Ooh, that was so juicy, yeah, he, but he messes it up. He messed up the spacing and again, allergic to a strong back air. Yeah. Wait. Nice. Yeah, wait. Wait. He's living Still though. Still gets back, and that's crazy. Oh, oh. Catches him going to ledge. That's so brutal. Smart. Smart. Oh. Okay, that should be it. Tournament winner. Josh looking like the one of the chipmunks who's getting the best head right now. <laughs> oh my god, he, that could have been disaster if he just didn't realize that he was sliding perilously towards the edge. Good to get out of that fair spam as well. Oh my god, oh, he's so close to the edge. Ooh, he goes for the grab. A sh another piggy move is a shield grab, I will say oh. that. Scozo did a bad error. <laughs> They are swinging. Safe swinging, though. Oh, Josh. Okay. What? That nah. Just. Uh, uh. The yep. dash back, dash attack. Oh, my Gets God. It, but the wrong way. Oh, what a roll. <gasps> Woo! What a catch from Josh, man. Oh, my God. Crowd is coming alive. Gets a grab. Back throw this time. Oh, he reads the instant double jump. Not this time. Scarzo playing board the platforms. Oh, good catch too. He's it, it is so back and forth. They're doing an insane job of finding the the, the haymakers on each other. Yeah, it's such a back and forth. Wow, Shine is trying. Shine is trying so hard. He has such big plans for the future of this country. <laughs> but so does Josh, man. He elbows him off the side of the stage. Oh. Nice di by Scarzo. Nice sdi. Josh can kind of, at this percent, be a little safer with some aerials on shield. Josh is also willing to burn his double jump to get to the top <sighs> there. It, it's just like begging Josh to come at him. Yeah, it's such a risk, though. Gets ledge. Ooh, huge. Huge. No. Run up uh, shield. That's that amazing. It's crazy from both these guys. That's a fair. That's a fair. That's a fair. Woo! Okay. Lock in. Buckle up. That's an up air. A piggy shield grab takes it to last stock. Game five reset. Oh my god. It's everything. Grab. No grab. All the guys are gone. All the guys are gone. They <laughs> are kicked in the face. Let's see who's the true piggy of us all. Skurzo in a little bit of trouble in the corner here. Fox at oh, that good percent. In. Okay. Okay, dash back out of Crouch at the crucial Ooh. moment. He doesn't get the runoff. Scurzo off stage. Goes to the top platform, very smart. All right, he's safe, he's safe for now. That's also messing up his fair to come off the side there. Right. Oh my Huge god. Huge F-tilt, but he misses the follow-up. Oh no. Scherzo with the gun. He's doing that now. Nah. Scherzo is ready for Ooh. it. Oh, trade. <laughs> Tournament winner. Get up attack. <laughs> oh, oh grab. My god. Crazy grab. He's alive. Not going to survive. Oh, no, back no, 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 no jump. Back no jump. Catches him. No. <laughs> ah, what? Oh, tournament winner again! No jump! There's spaghetti everywhere, it's all over the place. Oh, the nest! 
Oh. Both of them just pretty much last hit. Oh. And he rolls onto the platform, gets nared off to the side. Back air, let's see if Josh in. Oh, he sends him back! Oh my he god. He gets a grab, forward throw. He's gotta clean this up. He oh. Oh. He holds. Oh. He's done it! He's done it! Oh my god! He cleans it up! Josh Man holds, holds strong for Victoria! Oh my god, he does it! What an insane ending! Woo! Just just gets up off the ledge. Randall was there too! Oh Randall was there too, he could have landed There were so many things that could have happened. happened. Goody with a big hug. But the fates that be just decided it was Josh Man's day. Woo! After all that, the fallen fox is coming up. Oh. Oh my god. Welcome. Prime Minister Josh Mann. <laughs> I salute you. <laughs> Which also means that Mogul, uh, Moist Mogul Esports has a has a piece of the they, Australian they've, government. They've got a stake in the Australian so government. What, number one, they were taking out the dole. <laughs> Gone. We're becoming a co-op. Uh, we're as taking a about Centrelink. No, 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 not for you guys. Taking out <laughs> Centrelink. Uh, lots happening. Yeah, crowd happy about it on their feet. Josh, he's getting his headshot taken. Let's go. Oh, he's so the happy. Tungsten Cube trophy. <laughs> the fire is back. <laughs> oh my, I haven't seen him like this in a minute. Thank you. God bless Gozo <laughs> for bringing this out of Josh, man, and for giving us one of the craziest grand finals in Australian melee history. We kind of steer, get centered. Oh we, my God. We, 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 the, the thing is on wheels, so we just scooted. Good stuff. Good oh, stuff to Scurzo. Jesus. Took it to him to the, to the very extreme. To the limit. As close as it could have been. Shout out to Hoborg, shout out to Top 8. We had Sock, McLeod, uh, Aiden Calvin. Aiden Calvin. <laughs> um, uh, who else? RNG. RNG. Um, that might be all of them. It's a great tournament. Yeah, oh, do dude. your victory lap, Josh. Oh, dude. Oh, let's go. With the Sheik. With the Jeek. <laughs> See, his Jeek won a tournament, so now he can now he can say things about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. man. The fair, fair. SA Nick, it's just all I haven't. <laughs> I say Nick going, you did good, young lad. It's all the avatars of the past <laughs> coming up and congratulating him. Yeah, this is the Ewok village. All these guys are <laughs> blue ghosts just nodding silently. Oh, all the Yoda ghosts. <laughs> yep, you did it. Oh, man. And, you know, I mean, like, at the end of the day, I think it's like it wasn't the most stacked tournament, mm -hmm. uh, but... He still, it, you you get all the way to the end and you beat Skurzo, the the gatekeeper of yeah. of the uh, the event, and so I don't think cool. anyone thought it would be this close. Yeah, I definitely. thought it was like Skurzo might touch him, but Josh Mann will win the tournament. Instead, Skurzo showed him what's what in win his finals. Yes, he did, and then took it all the way to the bitter end. Could have been anyone's game too. Could have been anyone's game. Nick Yingling behind me, unfortunate for me. <laughs> He's got a point, man. <laughs> he's just, what? He just looks at you and you're like laughing at him, you know? <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's always talking some, some, some mess. <laughs> he's talking some mess. All right, well, what's next for us, Skip? What's going on? What's next? Well, I think Ultimate's running a bit behind. Oh, okay. uh, so we might take a little bit of a break and sure. then come back with some kind of ceremony, if I had to guess. Okay. And so stick around. Maybe tune into some Ultimate if you'd like. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be... Showing everyone all the fancy trophies, ordaining our winners and our runners up. So, thank you once again, Slime, for joining us. Look forward to seeing you at the next top eight. Yeah, the next Phantom top eight. I'll be here. Love that. Uh, but yeah, it was awesome. Shout out to Josh, man. Shout out to the whole top eight. Shout out to Hoborg. Shout out yeah. to Scurzo. Um, we will be back. We're going to a quick break. Stay tuned for more Phantom.
How was that? Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> thank you. First thing I want to say is an extremely very big thanks to Kaylin. I think everyone can agree. He's gotten a lot of applause this weekend already, but I'm pretty sure it'll never be enough. Um, yeah, without Kaylin, none of this would have happened. Um, another thing I want to say as well, uh, none of this obviously would have happened uh, without Dennis. He is still sorely missed, and it's the reason we have Phantom. <laughs> Last thing I want to say is thank you to just everyone here. Everyone who carried a TV, everyone who sat at the merch desk, someone who told a friend to come or plugged in a power board or got yell yelled at for helping. Um, you're the reason we do it, you're the reason it's possible. It's the reason why everyone keeps coming back. It's the community, it's what it's all about. So thank you everyone, really. <laughs> However, In third place, we have Hoborg. Ah. <laughs> well played. And in second place, we have Scurzo. And in first place, a bit of a hometown hero. It's here for our moist mogul, Josh Man. There you go, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Hold it over your head, man. I'm not proud. Hold it over your Thank you very, very much, everyone, for coming. This has been an unforgettable weekend. I'm sure you can all agree. Um, I will see all of you at the after party, although, fair warning, I think they're not letting us in until 6. So speak amongst yourselves until then. Brewdog Pentridge. So everyone, it's about an eight-minute walk away, hard to miss. Everyone watching, you come too if you're in the area. Um, it's going to be a really good night, I reckon. So let's send it off with a bang. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye.